To warm up, we first add a config package for managing all the configurations of our application, like in particular to avoid hard coding our database URL and credentials, and we'll rely on environment variables for that purpose. First things first, go get env config package, which takes care of reading the environment variables into our custom config structs. Create a directory at the root of the project with one file, config.go. Since we're a good developer, we immediately create a test file along with it to test even our configuration logic. package config and import the end of config package. Oh, we actually have it in the clipboard, so let's just paste it in instead of writing the whole thing, writing down the whole thing. It takes forever, right? Let's have a struct for holding our configuration. Uh, what's it gonna have? It's gonna have the Sila, Sila, not Sula. Sila hosts to connect to. Uh, it's a slice of strings, and the way it's gonna, the way we'll pass it uh, from environment variables through a comma delimited string, which you'll see in a bit. Notice we also need this env config tag, which will tell um, the env config package where to put the environment variable inside a struct after reading it. Also, key space. And the migrations there, um, which I'll explain how it's useful when you start um, working on creating tables and, and schemas and materialized views. Next, um, uh, let's have a function to load environment variables by utilizing inf config. This is how it's going to look like. Well, well, actually, we need testify rather than in config, but never mind. VS Code will take care of the imports anyway. Let's have some uh, dummy test environment variables set manually.
This is the part that I mentioned is the string of comma delimited host. Got to turn off the caps lock. We load the config and make sure it is what it should be. Save and try running the tests. Like so. Cool, 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 cool.